All right, we're back. It's your guys here at J.R. Peters, and we're here to always get technical with you. So, Dan, you know, it's warming up here. Yesterday it was 85 degrees, and I'm in Chicagoland. So, you know, we're really moving into spring. And I think it's and now it's a great time for us to talk about one of our formulas that is commonly used outdoors, our 18823 formula. So, Dan, what's the deal with this formula? Yeah. Hey, hey Mason. Um, so, great time to talk about this formula. So, the, the 18823 formula, it was actually developed before I started at J.R. Peters, but it originally started out using... Um, our 2010-20 formula as kind of our starting point when we started to, you know, break into cannabis and hemp production. We took our 2010-20 as kind of our starting point fertilizer. And from there, through our lab testing, working with our trial growers, we started to make some tweaks and adjustments to that formula. And uh, that's where we came up with the Jax 18823 formula. Got it. Very nice. Uh you know, we get a lot of people asking about, hey, I need some 2010-20. Um, but, you know, realistically, this 18-8-23, this is the new and improved 2010-20. And it's designed specifically for cannabis. So yeah. tell, us, tell us a little bit more, Dan. Yeah, well, you said it exactly right, Mason. Um, just, you know, that formula, but tweaked a little bit, you know, really kind of designed and formulated for that type of production. Um, so it is a potentially acidic formula, and it's designed to keep our pH in the desired range for nutrient uptake. It has a really nice nitrogen to potassium ratio, as well as an extra kick of magnesium and sulfur right there. So it gives you a really nice nutrient balance that are gonna help our plants thrive, specifically in those outdoor sunlight rich environments in the summer. Um, so one note you know, that I wanna make about this formula is it does not contain calcium. And that's because this is a formula that's designed to be used um, for field soil that has sufficient calcium in it or, for, or with source waters that have sufficient calcium in it. Um, so typically those waters or those soils have a higher pH. So that's kind of why it's potentially acidic to bring it down. Um, but again, it does not have calcium. So you want to make sure you're using it with a high source water or high soil that or source water or soil that has high calcium in it. Um, and it's not, you know, so I hear a lot of people may want to try and use it with the part B. Um, you know, we don't recommend using this formula with a part B. It's just not designed for that. You're going to be getting too much nitrogen. Um, if you do incorporate the part B at the regular rates there, and then if you were to lower it, you'd be low on the micronutrients. Um, so, you know, just to summarize that one more time, this formula, it's designed, you know, for a soil or source water that has the calcium in it to supply it. Yeah, that's, that, those are great points, Dan, because, you know, on the bag, uh, at least on some bags and on some uh, some of our materials, it does say 18823 outdoor. Um, but really, you know, outdoor maybe is not the best word for that. Yeah, sure. We, we definitely think it's a great formula for outdoor use, but it's more so field use. Um, yeah. You know, I, I have some folks that are asking me about, well, what if I got these plants that I put out on my patio? And I'm like, what are you using? They're like pro mix. And I'm like, all right, no, you're, you're probably still sticking with, you know, if you're running three, two, one, or if, you know, you're, you're working some combination of, uh, you know, one of the schedules in our, uh, you know, our, our nutrition schedules that were, are laid out with either the 12, 4, 16, the 15, 5, 20, or, you know, the, the 5, 12, 26. So, uh, so yeah, so Dan, you know, this formula designed to be used in a field setting where calcium is rich in the environment or in the water that's being applied. Yep. Why do some fertilizers not contain calcium or need that second part to supply the calcium? Why, why is that? Yeah. So, well, one reason is because some source waters or some soil already has enough calcium for the plant. So we don't need to provide calcium through the fertilizer. Um, you know, but many source waters and soils may not have that calcium. So we do need to add it back in through the fertilizer or we need to be supplying calcium through the fertilizer. But, you know, calcium is kind of a weird nutrient because at high concentrations, it's going to react with sulfates or phosphates, which are, you know, found in fertilizers to form insoluble precipitates. So 
Uh, in the case of calcium and sulfur at high concentrations, you'll form gypsum, and then calcium and phosphorus at high concentrations will form rock phosphate. So for this reason, calcium is almost, it's always typically applied as a part B, or, you know, it's going to be provided, it, you know, it's it has to be separate from the sulfates and the phosphates. So whether that's in a separate bag, as in our part A and part B situation, um, and then when you're mixing your stock tanks, it needs to be separate. Um, but again, to back up there, the main reason is because some people already have their calcium in their source water, but if they don't, they need to have the calcium separate from their sulfates and phosphates to avoid uh, undesirable reactions at those high concentrations. So that's why, you know, some fertilizers may not have it or it's in a separate component. All right, got it. You know, high school chemistry, you were always looking for those precipitates, but yeah. uh, when you're mixing fertilizers, you want the opposite. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, well, hey, that covers it for this week on getting technical. Uh, like Dan said, you know, if you're thinking about you need a 2010-20, we highly recommend taking a look at the 18-8-23. It is the upgraded new version for you and what you're growing. And uh, yeah, until next time, uh, we'll see you out there. Yeah. Yeah. And please reach out if uh, you guys have any requests for videos as well. Absolutely. All right, Thanks. Dan. Good talking to you. See ya.